Hello, this is John Hart, and we are going to hunt down four measures. Let's type in CDC data. And we'll pick this one here, data and statistics. And then we'll scroll down and uh, click on cancer. These other conditions might have the measures as well. But cancer has um, three of the four. And you may be able to find a, a fourth one. And then we'll scroll down to this, cancer rates by state. And then we'll leave it on overview there. And we can hover over a state and see new cases. New is uh, about incidence. Rate of new cases, we can um, change that to rate of cancer deaths and that's a mortality statistic. And we can come over here and click on prevalence. So that's the third statistic. And these are uh, total numbers here. By age group, you can report on one age group, for example. And um, you can look at rates as well. Sometimes it's better to use a rate for comparison service purposes. And for the fourth statistic, we can head on over to CDC Wonder, CDC Wonder. And we'll click on that for uh, natality statistics. And you may be able to find a fourth one at the previous site for cancer, for example. So we'll click on births. And we'll just click the top one there. And we agree here. And we can uh, click on state of residence as an example. There are lots of possibilities here. But we'll just keep it simple for now. And we'll click on birth rate. And we'll come over here on the right and click send. And here are the birth rates per 1,000. And here are the explanations down here. And it uh, looks like that 1,000 is total population as opposed to 1,000 um, females, childbearing age. So it looks like uh, per 1,000 total population. And you could report on one state or you can sort these, sort this column, and it's from uh, highest to lowest, so Utah has the highest, 14.93, and Vermont has the lowest, however you want to report that, and that concludes this presentation. Thank you for your attention.